Hello everyone, I am Sujoy and I am back with another exciting video on computer networking. So in my previous video, I told you about subnetting. How to do subnetting in just 15 minutes. And in today's video, I will talk about supernetting, the opposite of subnetting. So for some basics, today we will talk about the route summarization, which is also called route aggregation or simply called the supernetting. So we will talk about supernetting using VLSM or Variable Length Subnet Mask. So what is VLSM? VLSM is basically here as you can see the slash value is different for all the four networks. The slash value represents the size of the subnet mask and the representation of a subnet mask using slash notation is called CIDR or classless inter-domain routing. So using different subnet value for different networks is called the variable length subnet mask process. By using different subnet value, we basically limit the number of users which will be in that particular network. So we can control the number of users or basically we can vary the size of the network using VLSM. If you want more users in that uh, network then the slash value will be lesser that is number of networks will be less and number of users will be more but if you need more networks and number of small users per network then we use large slash value so the process of varying the number of users by using variable subnet mask is called the variable length subnet mask or VLSM technique Next question, what is route summarization or route aggregation? Route summarization or route aggregation is a technique in which we basically summarize lots of small network addresses or small networks using a single network address. So basically that single network address represents lots of small networks under it. So route summarization is a very important topic and is excessively used in IP routing process such as OSPF or EIGRP. So basically route summarization summarizes lots of small networks into a large network and thus reduces the size of the routing table on a router. So I have simplified the route summarization process for you. I have divided into just two parts. First part is the thinking decimally and second part is thinking binary. So let's start the step number one thinking decimally. As you may know, an IP address is a 32-bit binary number divided into 8 binary bits and separated by dots. So here, 172.17.1.60 is a 32-bit binary number divided in a block of 8 binary bits called the octets. Octa means 8, that is why the word octet. So here, 172 is basically a 8-bit binary number or an octet. So 172 is the first octet, 17 is the second octet, 1 is the third octet and 60 is the fourth octet. Together they form a 32-bit IP address. And this representation is called the dotted decimal representation where the IP address is represented in decimals and separated by dots. Now observe the network address and check how many octets are common in all network addresses. So here as you can see the first three octets are common for all the four networks that is 172.17.1 So first write the common octets that is 172.17.1 followed by 0 in the variable octet and that will be our summary network address. So here the fourth octet is variable because it has different numbers for all the different networks. So in place of fourth octet, we'll place a zero. And together, that will be our summary network address. So our summary network address is 172.17.1.0. Now we need the slash value. So here in all four network addresses, the first three octets, that is 172.17.1 are common. The fourth octet is variable. That means, for first three octets, 3 into 8 total 
24 bits are reserved for network addresses and 8 bits for host addresses. And next to find out the slash value, we need to move on to step 2. Step 2 thinking binary. For that you have to construct this weighted binary tape chart. It is very simple. Starting from the right, the first number is 1 and each number on the left is multiple of 2 of the number on the right. So here 1 into 2 is 2 written on the left. Similarly, this 2 into 2 4 is written on the left. Similarly, 4 into 2 8, 8 into 2 16, 16 into 2 32, 32 into 2 64 and 64 into 2 128. This is very simple, you can memorize it or there is another logic for finding this table that is the 2 to the power logic. So starting from the right, the first number is 2 to the power 0 which represents number 1 in decimal. Next number is 2 to the power 1 which represents number 2 in decimal. Next number is 2 to the power 2 that represents number 4 in decimal and so on up to 2 to the power 7. Now starting from the left, notice the first variable octet and write that in 8 bit binary numbers. So here in our example, first 3 octets are fixed. Then the first variable octet is the 4th octet. So write the 4th octet value in binary for all the 4 network addresses. That I have written here. First 3 octets are fixed. So they are written as it is and the fourth octet value is written in red and here I have written their equivalent binary number in a 8 bit binary number. So the for the first network the fourth octet value is 16 and the equivalent binary number is this number. It is very easy to obtain from this weighted binary chart to get a 16 we have taken this 16, so we will place 1 below it and we don't need any other numbers. So we will place 0 below all the other numbers. And this is our required binary equivalent of 16. That is 3 zeros and then 1 followed by 4 zeros. That I have written here. 3 zeros, 1 followed by 4 zeros. And now for the second network, the fourth octet value is 48 and the equivalent binary number is this. To obtain a 48, we need 32 and 16. So we will place 1 for that and we will place 0 for all the other numbers. So the binary equivalent of 48 is equals to two zeros then two ones followed by four zeros that I have written here two zeros then two ones followed by four zeros. Similarly you can find out the binary equivalent of 32 that is this number and binary equivalent of 60 that is this number. So among the four eight bit binary numbers the first two bits are common. Here as you can see first two bits are zero for all the four 8 bit binary numbers. So we have total 23 bits for the first 3 octets plus 2 total 26 bits reserved that is slash 26. So the summary route will be this network address 172.17.1.0 slash 26. So if you couldn't get it in the first place, don't worry, I will do another math for you. So our second question, find out the summary route for the below networks. Again 4 network addresses are given with 4 different subnet mask values. The process is same, step number 1, thinking decimally. Observe the network addresses and check how many octets are common in all network addresses. So here as you can see, first two octets that is 10.1 are common and third and fourth octets are variable. 
because they have different numbers for different networks. That means for first two octets total 2 into 8 because each octet represents 8 binary bits. Total 16 bits are reserved for network addresses and 16 bits are reserved for host addresses. So first, so to get the summary network address, first we will write down the common octet values that is 10.1 and for variable octets we will write 0. So our summary network address is equals to 10.1.0.0. Next we need the slash value. For that let us head to step number 2. Step number 2, thinking binary. For that again writing the weighted binary chart. Now starting from left, notice the first variable octet and write that in 8 binary numbers. So here is our example, the first and second octets are fixed and the first variable octet is the third octet. So write the third octet value in binary for all four network addresses. So here I have written the third octet value in red and equivalent binary numbers of them. So for the first network the third octet value is 1 and the equivalent binary number is this 7 zeros followed by 1. For the second network the third octet value is 3 and equivalent binary number is 6 zeros and then 1 1 because to get a 3 we need 2 and 1 from this table and remaining values we don't need so we'll place 0 below them. So the binary equivalent of decimal 3 is equal to 6 zeros followed by 2 ones. Similarly for the third network the third octet value is 5 equivalent binary number is this and for the fourth network, the third octet value is 4 and equivalent binary number is this. So among the four 8-bit binary numbers, the first 5 bits are common. The first 5 bits are common. So we have total 16 plus 5, 21 bits reserved. That is slash 21. So the summary route will be 10.1.0.0, this address slash 21. Isn't it cool? So that's it for now. How was the video? Let me know in the comments below. If you like the video, please like it using the like button below and subscribe to my YouTube channel so that when I will upload my next video, you get an email if you subscribe. And don't forget to share the video among your friends and family because sharing is caring. So thanks for watching. See you in my next video. And still learn, stay connected by subscribing.